That trope of genre is one of my personal favorites, and yeah, while well, it might be generic, it's the fact that watching others underestimate a demon lord or even try to rival him, in the end they will get destroyed, and as a lesson to be learned, try not to mess with someone you don't know. So today's video will be going over 10 overpowered anime demon lords that nobody knew about. If you are new right here, then please make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell icon turned on to stay up to date with the latest anime news and recommendations right at your doorstep. Now, without giving y'all waiting, let us begin with the video. So how about we get things started with Trinity 7, an anime with a protagonist dense as a brick, mediocre story, and quite the unnecessary magic system, it would have most likely been forgettable if it wasn't for its great characters. Seven Orcs Pictures created this anime back in 2014, it's hugely carried by its great protagonist who has insane magical powers of a demon lord and also its likable female cast. It takes place in a prestigious magical academy with only a few other users being female, and Arata, the only male with overwhelming power which nobody, absolutely nobody knew about. It also has two movies which, you know, I very much recommend watching, which is about Arata fighting the strongest demon lord, a true challenging test to see who is the most overpowered one. <laughs> Right next on the list is How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, first created by Aji Ado in Season 1 and then taken over by Tezuku Productions in the second season. This is quite the entertaining isekai with a demon lord from another world deemed himself overpowered beyond anyone at all. <laughs> It all started as a simple as it could sound. Guy gets teleported to a game-like world by two girls who summoned him, and he became the avatar he played as, one of the strongest players in the whole world, Demon Lord Diablo. Accidentally forming a contract with the two girls, they became his slaves and must find a way to, you know, break the contract through an epic journey. A lot of people underestimated Diablo that he is a demon lord, but many just ignore this fact and get destroyed by his epic power. Misfits of Demon Lord Academy. This is by far one of my favorite Demon Lord anime and also one of the best ones of the genre that you could possibly watch. Created by Silver Link back in 2020, this anime features the most overpowered, broken Demon Lord in anime existence because he has unlimited power and potential and different ways to kill you. You know, with like a snap of a finger, he can blow you away. The sound of his heartbeat can completely break you. And let's not forget, he shows absolutely no mercy to those who oppose him. <laughs> People thought that he was just a mere new transfer student to you just, just, you know, pick on. But well, they picked on the wrong person to mess with and now he is in line to become the next Demon Lord candidate. The Daily Life of the Immortal King, you know, sometimes Chinese anime are so worth watching and this right here is a prime example of how good Chinese anime can really be, which is why I'm recommending this show to everyone. <laughs> How 
Designers Animation League have worked on series such as Link Click, a very popular anime quite recently, but here we are talking about the daily life of the Immortal King, with the protagonist that recently entered school in the hopes of living a peaceful life. However, word started to spread out just how strong he really is, and then received challenge after challenge to fight. Now, Wang Ling, the protagonist, is a near-invincible existence with powers beyond his control. Nobody knows just how far he can go with his powers. Season 3 is also coming really soon, most likely next year, and I look forward to the day this anime is back in action, baby. <laughs> Another Demon Lord anime series where the protagonist is isekai and becomes a Demon Lord from the very get-go in a game-like world. Wearing a suit and tie, looking like a businessman, he does seem very average, almost like masking himself from others who think that he is just an ordinary-looking dude, but in reality, he will just destroy anyone. The big question is though, who summoned him here in the first place? But that is exactly what he wants to know, so he journeys out to find the answer while, of course, leaving destruction and chaos behind, almost like, you know, just marking his name that a new face is in town. Studio Aikachi may not have, you know, the best track record, but they did make this fairly decent Demon Lord anime for you all to try out. <laughs> Now we move on to an anime series called Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody, which you may have guessed is a reincarnation series of a Demon Lord who wishes to find a worthy opponent to fight, so he pretty much nerfed himself into this new world, but still, he turns out to be overpowered because everyone in this era is quite weak. Made by Silverlink in the year 2022, which I think is last season, it actually holds quite a resemblance to Misfits of Demon Lord Academy, with a very similar premise but different goals in mind. Many don't realize, however, that he is a Demon Lord, but some are starting to suspect that. It has a really interesting story, and I think you all will really enjoy this anime. Ah yes, Demon King Daimao. I remember watching this years back and enjoying it a lot. It had the most badass protagonist at the time when I first watched it, and it never failed to impress me. Even with its etchy moments, which some were, you know, awkward, but it can't be helped. You know, a lot of series have that these days. Studio Artland, I wouldn't say is the greatest studio I've seen, you know, with their anime production, but one series I absolutely loved from them was Katakyo Hitman Reborn, a classic underrated shonen not many have heard of. It is so damn good. <laughs> But I think, you know, Demon King Daimao is a great start of Demon Lord series. School setting, protagonist touches a crystal ball and says that he is the next Demon Lord, which everyone just gets shocked by, and, you know, I guess his secret has been revealed pretty fast, but it sure is a very fun time watching. Studio Madhouse and one of their best anime produced. This is Overlord, featuring a deathly protagonist of a skeleton, powerful mage in the whole series, able to destroy with one goal in mind, and that is to rule the entire world. Ah, 
Ayn Zool Gon, the ruthless. He's so ruthless, man, but still quite friendly. Well, sometimes, but he is very powerful, being the ruler of the underworld. One of the most hated things, however, in Overlord is its weak CGI being quite bad here and there, but the rest of it is extremely well done. From its characters, all super engaging with different personalities, fun storyline of how Ayn plans to rule the world and put fear across the world. It's all just epic, I tell you. An epic journey to witness. So you Bloodlad doesn't really have a demon lord, but more of a vampire lord, and also ruler of the Eastern District, Staz Charlie is a very powerful vampire who has grown lazy and is now into video games or manga, but you know, just after a girl gets teleported from another world into his life, he did promise to help her find a way back, thus making him get out of his house and witness the power once again of a true vampire lord. This was brought to you by Studio Brains Base, having, you know, just done amazing anime recently like To Your Eternity, Golden Kamui, and Inspector. I can go on and on, but I'm saying just don't miss out on this since it's one of their very best anime that they have created. <laughs> And now finally to end this list off I'm recommending to all of you is that time I got reincarnated as a slime. One of the best and most popular isekai anime of a mere weak looking slime who gets overpowered over time and becomes what we call a demon lord. This show also does quite a unique job at entertaining the audience through its charismatic main lead world fiction and creative storytelling. I refer to this show as, you know, more of a fantasy isekai, one that has a slime as the superstar. Isekai anime can get very creative, I'm telling you, and very unique. A lot more, you know, than other genres since it's a fantasy world instead of being realistic and that is where imaginations come into play. It's a very fun anime with two seasons and also a movie coming very soon which I very much look forward to. Looks like you made it to the very end of the video and you just watched 10 overpowered anime demon lords that nobody knew about. If I've managed to leave any anime out in particular that you thought would be a great addition on the list, then let me know in the comment section down below as I'd love to hear your very own opinion or just comment down below what you thought of the video in general as I'd always appreciate the feedback. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one.